bro. Where are you coming from today? Where are you living? I'm still in London, man. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> I wonder what kind of accent you have. Because you go from, you know, you got some African in you. We know that. Mm -hmm. You've been in America most of your life. Mm -hmm. But and you know I was now, born in London. Yeah. So I'm, so I'm actually at home. Hey. Which was the first accent I had when I went to Barbados. They all paid me to talk because they just said, listen to this girl. So you are like me. I, I consider myself a worldwide citizen. Yes. Most definitely. We are citizens of the world. Yes. Now, if you are glad that we are on together, send us some emojis. Yes. Michelle, I love, love. emojis. Love. I love when those emojis start flying out. When all those hearts come. start going up. Yes, yes, yes. I love Send it. some emojis. <laughs> People are ready to hear what you have to say, Tim. You know, um, I'm in London, and as I was just telling them, I don't really go out a lot. Um, I've kind of chosen to stay low and be still. There they go. There go the hearts. I love it. Come on, guys. Yes. Show us some love. Um, yes. You know, uh, I have, even though I can go out, and even right across from my window, there's a restaurant on the other side of the canal where I am, and people are sitting out, and I just... I'm just not there yet. I'm just chilling. I'm just like, okay, let me just order my stuff in. I can cook for myself. Just lay low. And I'm spending a lot of time thinking about how to redirect, reshape, uh, do ministry, still be effective during a time when we can't move around. In Los Angeles, you're in Los Angeles. Yes. What's, what's the temperature out there as far as what people are feeling? Um, how are they adjusting to this new normal that we don't know what it's going to shift into next what are you what are you sensing well i think i think that there are ebbs and flows like anything in life where mm -hmm. that you know the initial shock of covid19 i remember when i found out about it i i literally thought i think this is going to get cleared up in about a month because yeah. as a as a speaker as you know because we both travel the world you know we were booked up into forever as you know yeah and i remember thinking to myself no 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 keep keep those meetings on those dates because covid will probably be cleared up within this amount of time mm -hmm. and then when you begin to see it just spread and spread and spread it's an interesting thing that even as a leader and a person that is very biblically based that i will be honest to say that i dealt with fear mm -hmm. uh I dealt with frustration and I was studying that word about four days ago, frustration. Mm -hmm. And that frustration can, can lead to agitation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I found myself feeling a little bit agitated because I'm so used to just be free flowing. Sure. You know, if you need to get on a plane and get somewhere and now things are being cut off. Yeah. And, and it's a funny thing because I, I have friends in Italy, and I'm sure you do as well. But I've been fantasizing about going to Italy for a while and, and getting <laughs> an Airbnb for a month. Uh huh. But that was before COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And because I can life coach on Zoom from anywhere. Mm -hmm. so, and I'm working on a book for HarperCollins that comes out in March. So mm -hmm. I, was, I was seriously thinking. You could go there, do a little bit staff, of writing, chill. Yes, you could see me doing that, right, in Italy? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It was making sense. <laughs> and, and then, and then to, to get frustrated, like, hey, little Timmy story, <laughs> even if you want to go to Italy, you can't. Right. So I think, I think the ebbs and the flows are the difficult things. Mm -hmm. And I do feel the angst mm -hmm. in the atmosphere. And that angst is... What's going to happen next? How is this going to happen? Mm -hmm. When is it going to be over? Is it going to be a vaccine that cures it all? Mm -hmm. Is the vaccine going to take us into the end of the world? So, uh, <laughs> is it going to give us the chip? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So can I tell you what I think about that? Yes, please do tell me what you think about that. My faith is in God. Thank you. My faith is in God. And I prayed this morning because me and you, I've been friends for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. I prayed this morning 
just thank you, God, for my life and for what you want me to do this year and mm -hmm. how you want me to do it. And I surrender that to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so I'm, I'm in a real good spot with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you know, um, I've been kind of in the same spot. I, to be perfectly honest, everybody's kind of been like jittery and saying, oh, I can't wait to do this. And I've just had this complete kind of peace. And it's like, you know, I'm cool. I'm cool. You know, I mean, as you know, I've been waiting here for almost five months now for the border of Ghana to open so I can go home. Ooh, can I just say something? Because I see this brother saying, Jesus never said be scared when COVID-19 begins. Number one, I ain't Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Exactly. Now, let me human. just say this real quick, because I think there are truths in the Bible that I believe in. And that mm -hmm. is one. Yeah. You should not fear he has not given you a spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but I ain't Jesus. I yeah. I am growing. I'm evolving, mm -hmm. and please, and and I like him. He's probably nice, but don't forget, man. We are all human, human, and we're miracles in motion. Yeah. All right, back to your beautiful story. Well, you know, um, I've, I've I've had to say I I haven't I've probably had two little spikes of fear, but more about other people. Um, because my family is in the States and as things were spiking and all the unrest started, I really had a lot of anxiety about the safety of my family. Yes. Um, I have seen God be so faithful to take care of me and provide for me during this time that it escalates my faith because I get to see another side of his character. You know, I have this friend, Tim, and he's, he cracked me up. He said, when we get to heaven and we see God, we're going to go, wow. And he's going to say, oh, you really like this part of me? Let me show you another side of me. And he's going to go bling, and we're going to go, ooh. And he says, you like that? Let me show you this. And he says, there's so many parts of God that we have yet to see unfold that we're just yes. going to ooh and ah throughout eternity as God continually uh, unveils himself in different dimensions of who he is and his power and his grace and his glory. That's just going to keep us just wowed the whole time. And I have to say that, I think I've been walking with God. You've been walking with God probably longer than me, but I think I've been with Jesus now for about 20 something years. No, yeah. longer than that, 40 something years. And uh, way longer. Than, yeah, yeah. But you know what? I am still amazed at God. Yes. It, it, it's like, when will you stop amazing me? You, you, so let's, let's, let's work through these principles because me and you are wordsmiths. Mm -hmm. and we, we flow in the same flow. So number one, you have the promise of things to come like god yes. has a promise for every one of us ephesians 2 10 says for we are his workmanship created mm -hmm. in christ jesus to do good things that god has prepared in advance for us to do so yes you agree we have a promise right mm -hmm. all right secondly you have to walk according to the principles mm -hmm. and so for us the principles are the promises of god yes so me and you have chosen to walk according to the principle of god but Thirdly, you have the problems. Mm -hmm. A problem is a dilemma. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge. Watch how powerful this is. A problem is also a snag. And I remember one time I was about to speak at this convention and I had a really nice jacket on. Mm -hmm. And I was coming around the corner and I got snagged. My jacket got snagged on a chair mm. and I didn't want to rip my jacket. So I had to come back and slowly unsnag myself. Mm -hmm. So if some of you have a promise of great things for 2020. You have the principles, but you've been snagged. Yeah. And tell us how to get out of a snag. Because listen, I'm good, but I think you're better than me. So tell <laughs> us. How, I'm not even joking. How do we well, get out of a snag? Well, you know, I always say that we have to know the difference between what God said and what he's saying. Because what he said is long-term. It's the, it's the end of the matter. But in between, he's talking a lot. And I just believe in getting quiet and hearing what he says and listening to those instructions because he said, you'll hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. Yes. And, and that's something that you've got to walk out daily because the directions can change. And what happens with a lot of the saints 
is they get stuck on what God said and they're not flexible and the spirit is flexible. He goes with the flow of whatever's going on. So just because COVID happened doesn't mean those promises he gave you before 2020 aren't going to occur. But now you might have to sidestep back up, reassess, reinvent, and reposition yourself in order to reach that said by now actively being engaged with what he's saying on a daily basis to help invent yourself to still achieve the end of the matter. I think that it's really critical that we not get stuck or snagged, like you said, because we, we start having tunnel vision and we insist yeah. that something has to be this way. And God is saying, there's many ways that I can work that out. I am not set back because of COVID. You are. So yes. let me show you how to work around that. Okay, so that is so, so good. That, that, that's why. What you gonna add, what you gonna that's add. Why you, that's why you're so brilliant. Okay, so slow down on this for a minute. So you mm -hmm. say that, so God says things, mm -hmm. and the Bible says he watches over his word to perform it. Perform it, yes. And, and Marilyn Hickey helped me with this. And I was teaching this at her church, and she's such a good Bible teacher. She mm -hmm. said, Tim, let me, let, me, let me even take it to a deep, deeper place. She says, God watches over his words and he helps direct those words, but he helps direct you to make sure they're in sync. Yes. And that's kind of what you're saying is that God is very fluid and there's a flow mm -hmm. in the things of God. And sometimes we have to readjust. Now, for instance, yes. we're, bo we're both in the entertainment business. Mm -hmm. So I got signed to do a show on BET with a friend of yours, and I'll tell you later who it is. So BET mm -hmm. said yes. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about days we're going to start. Now, now because of COVID-19, everything got shifted. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a, a film with AMC Theaters, and it was supposed to be released on a certain date beginning next year. Now that's getting pushed back. Now mm -hmm. that can make me irritable, grouchy, and snagged. Mm -hmm. So you're saying what? You're saying we gotta I'm adjust. saying that God's timing is perfect. Yes. At the end from the beginning. He knows the best placement for the promises that he's given us. Um, in my instance, I wrote and produced a movie a year and a half you ago. Did. The editor lost three scenes. <laughs> so I've got to refilm those three scenes. It was like supposed to be oh, like this that's a great lot. release for Valentine's Day. You know, yeah. um, I thought I would get it done by this time in order. So now two Valentine's Days have passed. And I'm like, hello, Lord. But hey, that's super frustrating. Yeah, but I trust his timing. I know that when it's released, it will be the perfect time. I will have the aha moment. Unfortunately, I don't have the aha moment before that. So in okay. the meantime, what do I apply myself to? The things that are at hand, the things that are in my hand presently that I have control over. You know, uh, I think that sometimes we spend a lot of time uh, making having the wrong expectations so we set ourselves up for frustration because we're trying to force something and it's not time yet I always think about when we fly Tim don't you love it when the pilot comes on and says oh we got here early and everybody on the plane gets all excited I never get excited because <laughs> I know what's going to happen next he's going to say now we've got a circle because somebody's in our gate okay you, know? you got it whoa that's the truth that okay. Is so true. So sometimes you're circling, you're circling, you're circling. You are so ready to land, but somebody's in your gate and God's got to move them out to make room for what he's promised you. Yeah. Hey, let you me know? give a shout out to some of the people that are watching us. I see uh, the great Ray Bevan uh, ah. from, uh, from Wales and travels all over the world. Does all mm. the big Hillsong churches, one, one of Brian Houston's best friends, broke ah. the record at Ray McCauley's church. He's spoken more than any other guest speaker at the great Rayma church. Good to see Ray Bevan. Sally Clone Petrie, good to see you on there. Great, great producer. Did a project mm. called Woman Like Us. 
one of the leaders mm. uh, at the Dream Center. I see some of my big leading friends Center. from Sweden. Look at all these people that are that are watching us. And wow. uh, you know what I'm loving right now is a lot of uh, thought leaders and people that are spiritual leaders are collaborating on projects. And mm -hmm. so tell them about the collaboration yeah. that we have coming up this weekend. Well, Uncommon Mind um, Masterclass. And we're yep. really excited about it. The theme of it this, this, this Saturday is metamorphosis because we see the need um, to um, transition to the next, to their next just after COVID. Yes. Um, and that, that isn't going to kick in with when COVID ends. It's kicking in now. We want to give you tools to be able to, to navigate and prepare yourself to take off. Uh, you know, it takes a minute to get that plane up. There's a runway. You've got to make your way down. You've got to set all your stuff in order so that when it lifts off, it's moving in the right direction. And so myself, Tim, and and uh, Lanre Olushola, who's in a match as well, uh, will be, Amazing. be teaming up this Saturday to um, bring that class to you. Yes, yeah, so that, that's coming up, and all the information can be found. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I was saying, where can they the find world. the information for the class? <laughs> they can go to my link in my bio and um, click on the link, okay. and it's there. Yeah, or they can go straight to Eventbrite if they can't figure out the the uh, the bio link, um, and just put in okay. uncommon mindset, and it will come up. A couple of other people mm -hmm. jumped on. Look at the, look at Pastor Maxim from from Bulgaria. Oh, wow. This guy is rocking and rolling. He's taken mm. over Bulgaria, and Ray oh, really? Bevan, who's on as well, can reconnected us. But pa Pastor Maxim has been following my message since he was in his teens, and now mm. he's, like, taking it to a whole other level. Then the former Miss Sweden is on as well. Wow. Nicolene Artisan, good to see you, all the way from Beautiful. Sweden. And th the reason I say all this is because this is what's going on in the world, like, mm -hmm. I wish I could tell you the celebrities I've been with lately because it's really mind boggling. But the, the last month, it's been more mm -hmm. and more and more and more. And you know, that's what I do. And one of the things that they mm -hmm. are seeking is they're, they're looking for God's direction. They're asking about, are we going to be okay? Is this the end of the world? Mm -hmm. And people are looking for direction. And so one of the things that I think we need to do for all you that are on yeah. right now, is we need to band together and we need to, we need to use our giftings. Like, mm -hmm. let me get, give you an example. Can we talk about five more minutes? Can yeah, talk yes, five more minutes? Sure. Okay. All right, so mm -hmm. I, I'm really being honest with you. Lon Ray blows me out of the room with how good he is with mm -hmm. his teaching level and yeah. everything that he does on a chalkboard. Yeah. Okay. He's if, amazing. If I'm if I'm a seven at that, he's a ten. He's amazing. You you are even better than me, and I think I'm one of the best at being a wordsmith and a brander. But people don't understand mm. you used to be a branding expert and make a ton of money for big mm -hmm. branding campaigns. Am I am I telling yes. you the truth? Yes. Okay. But I do think I'm one of the best speakers in the world. You are. So, and yeah, you know. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't create that on my own. It's what's been put on me. Yes. So I'm not going to lie and say that I'm not. But, but I need you because you're better at something than me. And I, and this is where we got to start. <laughs> exactly. together. And not right. and not trip because somebody's better at something. Like right. I'll say, I'll say something to Michelle McKinney Hammond, and she'll say, "That's good," but I would slightly change it. I'm like, girl, <laughs> don't you know who you're talking to? <laughs> but, but then I realized you're right. 
<laughs> and because I'm your sister from another mother, you have yes. to go along with it. Man, I, I, I love you. You know, this is the thing. Let me tell you another thing. We need to quit looking at just men and women, women versus men. Mm -hmm. um, you are a queen. Do I not text you and call you the queen? Yes, you do. All the time. I'm going to tell you something. And you live like a queen. <laughs> yes, my Abba Daddy takes really good care I, of I've me. Seen, <laughs> I've seen your houses. <laughs> just so you know, I don't just call her the queen. She lives like a queen. <laughs> but you're, you're a smart lady. Let, let's just Thank go you. there for a minute. You know, you mm -hmm. got into branding and design and all that you got in the whole fashion side you got into the mm -hmm. singing side you got into the movie side you got into the self-help motivation side but you are a business mm -hmm. woman you do not play in the area I, I, of you know, business girl <laughs> i try to keep it organic though Tim. and i have had to you know so sometimes we can get a little overwhelmed with our ones just because we can do everything Does doesn't mean that we yeah. should do everything. And there have been times that you have spoken to me and told me to focus. And I've appreciated those times. And that's the other thing about having voices in your life, voices that you respect and trust to give you guidance and to, you know, because we can't do it on our own. Even God, you know, I was studying uh, today. And I love the fact that it says that wisdom was present with him and was the architect with him when he was laying the foundations of the earth. So even God yeah. consulted, okay? Um, so who are we not to consult with others, not to um, seek counsel? Since there's safety institute of counsel, we just have to make yes. sure that we have the right counsel. And I'm grateful that I have people like you in my life, Lon Ray in my life, that I consider great voices of wisdom that I draw from. And it also challenges me to dig deeper and to do better um, at what I do, you know, it makes me yeah. sharpen my tools. And I go, mm, how come you know that? Mm, I need to go study that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it, it, I think that it's like it says, iron sharpens iron, so it sharpens friends. And I think that we're an amazing team together. Uh, the last um, Am amazing, um, amazing Common team. Mindset Masterclass was amazing. People were saying yeah. that they so they would have paid more. And we've kept it low um, because we want people to be able to take um, advantage of it. We know that um, COVID is dragging out and people are becoming much more careful how they spend their money at this point in time because they don't know how long it's going to last and they don't know if that bailout stuff is happening no more. So, you know, everybody's trying to uh, be a little more conservative, but invest in yourself, I always say. There are some things you know, that I have to buy in order for myself to be presented in a certain way. Those are investments because those are the things that open doors for me. So you have to make the right investments to create favor for yourself to be able to get to the next level. Okay, let's let's throw up some emojis. If you like what we're are saying. Are you enjoying right, this conversation? Let's see the love. Let's see the love. Okay, let's get, let's get into two more things and then we'll finish. We'll finish okay. right at the 30. For me, okay. it's, for me, it's 10.25. For you, okay. it's what time where you are? What time? It's 6.25 it, p.m. Okay. In, in, in England? In England. Okay. Ray Bevan saying, invest in yourself. Sally Colonna saying, saying yes, yes, invest in yourself. Now, the thing is, is that the investment can change your life. Mm -hmm. I remember this a true story. When I was 18, I sold my Volkswagen so I can go to a conference overseas so I can learn. And I literally sold a whole car to, to get better. And I remember my mother was, got mad at me. And you know what I told her? I said, in all due respect, I said, I am investing in the future of Tim's story. And she says, mm -hmm. why are you talking about yourself in third person? I said, <laughs> cause, cause I said, I'm your son but I'm also Tim's story. And she goes, mm -hmm. oh, I guess I'll figure that out later. Well, guess mm -hmm. what? She figured it out. Because yeah. I knew deep inside my spirit that I would help impact the world. Yes. 75 countries later, speaking to 85,000 people by the time I was 28, 
teaching at Amazing. Oral Roberts University as a guest lecturer at 27, the youngest man to address Congress on spiritual issues at the age of 29. Mm -hmm. I knew that I was going to be something. And I told my mother, I'm investing in Tim Story. Yes. Is that amazing? Yeah. I but mean, I and who, who's going to invest in, in you like you? There'll be some yes. people that will come into your life and try you, but they'll never go to the level that you will go and for yourself. So it's really important that you do that. We got one of the best counselors in Beverly Hills. Zara is on as well. Look at oh. these people. Wow. We got, I mean, we are, we are drawing the world shakers today. <laughs> I love it that you can be in one spot and talk to the whole world. And when we had our conference, that's what we had. We had everybody. They we came, had people they from came, Nigeria, they came from everywhere. South so Africa, this... America, Germany. Um, it was yeah. amazing that people came from all over the world. And, and I love the technology of it all. You know, I love, I love the fact that, you know, in the book of Revelations, it talked about how the whole world would watch these three prophets lying in the middle of the street. And there was a time and I thought to myself, how is that? Or oh, maybe we're going to watch them on yeah. TV. And now we know we're going to be looking at them on our phones, you know. Uh, yeah. Way back then, they saw the end from the beginning. And God sees the end from the beginning for each of our lives. And he wants to help us know how to navigate to reach that end. And he's cheering us on. And he wants it for us more than we want it for ourselves, to be perfectly honest. So yes. here we have a team that can help you focus, gain clarity, strategize to get to what God said while hearing what he's saying. Yeah, so I, I want to make you a promise. When you hear Lon Ray, because a lot of you are being introduced to some of these people mm -hmm. from, from America, but this brother is just taking over all of Africa. And he's amazing. He, me, Lon Ray, and Michelle McKinney Hammond are going to do a tour throughout Africa. Now, I've been, I've been offered to do tours with Steve Harvey in, in Africa. Another very, very famous celebrity, I wish I could say his name, is now talking to me about doing tours in South Africa mm -hmm. and in all Africa. But I'm excited about touring with you two in Africa because of what you bring. Lon Ray is going to blow you away. Michelle McKinney Hammond. It's almost not fair what's going to happen when you start talking. Because <laughs> you, got, you got material, girl. You, you, got, you got like a hidden vault of material. And then who knows what outfit you're going to wear. That's, some people ought to just sign up just to see the outfit. Because <laughs> it's going well, you know, to be an outfit. Well, you know, I'm glad to get back to... You know, Tim, I've, I've been here for almost five months now, and I, I, I've got a whole new perspective on my closet. I'm like, what? I've been living out of the suitcase. <laughs> girl, you are an All I can do is change girl. up the earrings, you know. <laughs> Michelle McKinney Hammond is known for her wardrobe, just so you know, and her style. <laughs> but I, I, I truly adore I'm a you. frustrated I'm, designer. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so proud of you. Uh, I mean, you're you're great friends with people like Roma Downey and, and you know, the, her and Mark Burnett are doing great things in Beverly Hills. And you're so mm -hmm. low key. Yeah. Uh, when you came to my Hollywood Bible study, um, I mean, you just come in and you just come in, you just serve and stay quiet. And, but I just want you to know, I appreciate the bigness of your, your life, the bigness of your heart, and you being willing also to give to these kind of platforms. If you like Michelle McKinney Hammond on this interview that we're doing with each other, give us <laughs> some emojis right now. I need some emojis. Well, you know, I just love people and it's my heart to serve. I just want to see people do the best that they can do. I want them to be their best selves, to maximize their potential. And my friends always accuse me of rearranging their lives because I can't just be your friend and shut up. I've got a something. I've got to shift you. I've got to redress you. I've got to redirect you. I have to do something. And so um, I'm glad that I have some folks that will actually say, girl, okay, okay, I'll, I'll take it. Because, you know, sometimes they have to say, be quiet. I redo me today. <laughs> but some people are All these people are saying so they're I'm starting to follow you. 
You got a bunch of new oh, followers wonderful. right now that are saying they're starting to follow you. Hey, so if I could just say this, because people are asking, what does the number 17 mean? I'm going to tell yeah. you, this is super cool, is that on the first day, God started to create in Genesis. On the seventh day, he rested and said, it's all good. So the number 17 means from the first day to the seventh day, okay, from the beginning to the end, you're all good. Mm -hmm. So 17 means it's all good. And then in the back, watch, it says what you are. World, World shaker. shaker. Okay. Come on, people. I ain't playing around. And we also know that 17 adds up to eight, which is new beginnings. And we're rounding off to the eighth month. Just think about it. Tim, we didn't even think about it. But metamorphosis is being held on the 1st of August, which is the eighth month of, of the year. New yes. beginnings. So we're literally completing a cycle. And we're starting our reinvention on that day. That's powerful. All right. So Nothing to find out more about the conference, go to Michelle uh, McKinney Hammond's Instagram, also to mine. You'll find all the information. This is a very soft sell. Let me tell you about Michelle and myself. We have spoken in the most rickety places in the mm -hmm. history of rickety places. <laughs> we, we go places for free where mm -hmm. they don't even serve us fruit punch. That's right. But we've also been in the grandest situations right. where they treat us like kings and queens. So we are soft sell people. Uh, if this is good for you, which it is, sign mm -hmm. up for it. You'll be glad that you did it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, guess where I'm going right now? I'm going to go play golf. Oh, so, that's wonderful. Yes. Yeah, so my, my thing is I'm an athlete. I played baseball, football, and basketball. Mm. But for a while, I got so, so, so busy in life that I quit doing sports like I wanted to. So now I'm starting to play golf once a week. I played yesterday. I'm going to play again. And I noticed that while I was playing, all these fools were calling me. I mean, nice friends of mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then texting me saying, just give me five minutes. Just, Tim, where are you? Just give me three minutes. <laughs> live. We're supposed to live. Don't you agree? That's right. You, you, you yeah. have to stop and smell the roses. You know, yeah, you can't. I'm, 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 I'm living. I am living. Mm -hmm. I'm going to live. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to listen to the Jackson 5. I'm, I'm living. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any parting words? Good. Any parting words you have? Any last words? Well, um, I want to share what we're going to be talking about on Saturday. We're going to be, I'm yeah. going to be talking about the power to conceive. Because that's in our DNA. It's what we've inherited. Um, from heaven. I mean, it is such a great power. And if we don't know the, the capacity that we have within us, we fail to have vision. And God wants us to exercise that power to conceive. And then um, Lonre is going to talk about the essence of transformation. And, you know, he's always got to mix the science with the scripture. Oh he my blends God. it so beautifully. It's I mean, he, he takes you on this whole scientific ride. And then by the time he comes back and marries it with scripture, it's like, oh! Oh, that's where that came from. And yeah. then Tim is going to talk about the power process, which is probably the most important discussion of the day, because I think that's where we get hung up. I think that uh, a lot of Christians are mired in magical thinking and think that just because God said it, bling, it's supposed to happen or that he's going to make it happen. But he uses us to bring it to pass while he's working in us and through us. And so when we understand the power of the process, we see how it makes us and shapes us and molds us into a greater image of who he is, but also yes. displays his power on earth. So it's really going to be an exciting. Then we've got, oh my gosh, Tim, I forgot. We've got Charlotte Osei, who is, you know, people know her. She was like the first yes. woman over the electoral commission in, in Africa. And then Thomas J. Burrell. Tom yes. uh, wrote the book Brainwash. He was and the, I uh, did founder. look him up, and I got my mind blown. You told me watch yes. this on him. Wow, wow, wow! How you? He's got amazing. Him to be part of this that's super big. 
Yeah, yeah. He was the founder of Burrell Advertising. Um, and I worked for him for many years uh, doing com um, commercials for Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Schlitz Malt Liquor, you name it. All the big blue chip accounts. And that's how I got to meet a lot of celebrities like, you know, yourself and others in L.A. And work with great directors and choreographers. Yes. And, uh, you know, so we both industry. That's going to be, that's gonna be awesome coming up. I want to give a shout yeah. out. I just saw Jason Waller from The Hills, the show The Hills. Hi. Uh, he's on right now. And uh, wow, look at Hillary Roberts is on as well. Phenomenal hey. singer, worldwide singer. What is going on? Why are we drawing Woo! all these people today? This what is, is wonderful. Going on We're here? in good company, Tim. We are in good company. <laughs> See, world shakers find each other. You know, mm -hmm. watch this. This is funny. When you blow a dog whistle, cats don't come. Yeah. Dogs come. <laughs> when you blow a whistle for world shakers, the world shakers show up. Jason yeah. Waller, that's who I'm playing golf with today. Jason is a phenomenal golfer. But I have prayed that mm. um, my golf would go to a whole supernatural level just to keep up with you, Jason. <laughs> well, then I, you guys will have to teach me when I finally make it back out to L.A. Yes. All right. I love and you. And I'm going to be You're talking amazing. with Lon Ray right here in another hour and a half. If anybody wants to get a taste of Lon Ray, make sure that you come back and join us. And um, another, yeah. So he will be on with me. And thank you so much for joining us. Tim, you know I love you. You you know you're my brother. My friend anymore. Yes. You're my brother. No, we're, we're, a, we're family. Yes. And you know, Life Tim, people always used All right, to say guys, I had to meet let's you. Let's have because a good, it's... good, good week this week. Let's finish up this week strong. Life is good. Yes. Talk to you all soon. Okay, bye -bye. take care. Bye-bye. If you want another awesome video in our Black Excellence series, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.